Do you have systems in place? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Robert Mack, and I'm sure this topic might sound familiar. In fact, I recently made a video on the importance of systems versus winging it. And today I want to go a little bit deeper. I was at a Tom Ferry event a few weeks back called Sales Edge, which is an event that I highly recommend. It's an event that's run by Bill Pipes where he will help train you on how to be a better salesperson. And at this event, I always meet so many great agents from around the country, locally, new agents, veteran agents, you name it. And a lot of the newer agents were coming up to me and asking me questions about certain things we were talking about. And a lot of agents said, Robert, you know, I'm a newer agent. I'm just trying to learn how to be better in this business. And I'm not really sure where to start. There's so many things to do. And you guys, this industry can be so complex that if you don't have focus on certain one or two or three things that you want to focus on, you will end up spinning your wheels. Anyway, the theme of the conversations I was having primarily kept falling onto, do you have systems? Now let me explain a little bit more. At this event, they really push the value of prospecting, right? The more, as an agent, as a salesperson, the more conversations you have, the more people you talk to, the more opportunity you can create. Now, obviously talking to people that you know, that know you, like you, and trust you is great, but the group of people that you don't know is much larger than the group of people that you do know. So you have to be spending a certain amount of time talking to people that you know to solidify those relationships. But you have to be spending a lot of time talking to people that you don't know, adding them into your funnel of people that you do know that you need to nurture and build deeper relationships with. But here's what's gonna happen, you guys. The more phone calls you make, the more networking mixers you go to, the more emails you send, the more text messages you send, the more doors you knock on, the more open houses you do, what do you think is gonna happen? You're gonna start getting an influx of people to work with and help. Now, helping one or two people is not that hard, but if you have to help five or six or seven or eight people in any given month, you're just gonna simply run out of time, especially if you're by yourself and don't have anybody helping you. So, the reason why systems are important are because the, the best way for a real estate agent to make money is to have conversations. And what always happens is that when agents get busy, the first thing they stop doing is having those conversations. So you see this real estate roller coaster of, I made a bunch of calls, I have a lot of clients, oh my God, I have three escrows, they just closed, I got nothing. And they got nothing because they stopped prospecting during the time that they got busy. And the reason why they stopped prospecting when they got busy is because they didn't have systems. So let's talk about that just briefly. A system doesn't have to be something elaborate. You don't have to even use technology. It could be as low level as a piece of paper with a checklist on it, or an Excel spreadsheet with a checklist, or a Google Doc. Or if you wanna get really fancy and high tech, you can use software like Trello that will build out the process for you. So let's talk about this. What is a system? A system is a checklist that you can create for a process that you dissect that will allow you to recreate, duplicate, and grow as you get better. So for example, if you're calling a bunch of people that wanna buy, it's only natural that you start to get clients that wanna buy. As you show these clients property and you open escrows, you're gonna to wanna to have systems in place for escrow. What are the 80 things that have to happen from the minute you open escrow to the minute you close? If you don't have this in writing, you're gonna spend a lot of time thinking and a lot of time not prospecting. So how can we re-remove the thinking part of it out there so that once you open escrow, boom, 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 boom. That happens, that happens, that happens, that happens. If this, then that. If this, then that. If this, then that. Same thing with the seller. If I open a seller escrow, what are the 80 things I gotta do before I close? If I take a new listing, what are the 50 things I have to do before my open house? The bottom line is, guys, you're gonna work really hard to get a lot of clients that wanna work with you. And once you have these clients that you're working with, they start making moves. If you don't have systems built out, then you're gonna have a tough time continuing to prospect 
and that's where most real estate agents fail. So I hope you guys found value in this message. If you did and you know an agent that's struggling with keeping a consistent, steady business, send this to them. If you found this video on social media, show me some social media love. If you want to learn more about how my team and I operate and the systems that we implement to make sure that everything is predictable, smooth, easy, and duplicatable, you can always send me a message or we can set up a strategy call. I would love that. And if you ever have any video ideas you want me to talk about in the future, send those my way as well. Until then, happy selling.